Hi, I'm Dr. Derek McCammon, podiatrist at Advantage Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. In this video, I'd like to speak a little bit about stress fractures of the foot and ankle. A stress fracture is variable in how you would describe it, but I frequently tell patients it's similar to a blister of the skin. It's essentially an inflammation of the lining of the bone and can lead to a formal full fracture, but is typically more inflammatory based or a small hairline crack in the bone. Stress fractures are fairly common, especially in the foot and ankle. Uh, the metatarsal bones in particular are very susceptible to stress fractures because of the weight bearing load, especially if we are, are running, jumping on them. Stress fractures can develop frequently because of running, jumping, and impact loads, but osteoporosis and osteopenia is a frequent uh, component to this as well. The most frequent people that I see with stress fractures are typically athletes. Um, elderly patients with severe osteoporosis can also develop stress fractures, especially of the fibula bone just on that outer aspect of the ankle. Stress fractures typically cause pain with weight bearing. Uh, they typically will also create some swelling. Frequently people will have a, a, a bruising discoloration and with continued activity demands and loads on the foot and the ankle, the pain typically will worsen with time instead of getting better. Stress fractures can be diagnosed sometimes by basic physical exam of the patient, but frequently by x-ray. If x-rays are negative, then we frequently move to MRI and even triphasic bone scan imaging. The typical treatments for stress fractures mainly is decreasing the activities, but also frequently placing into a surgical shoe or a fracture boot to immobilize the area. Stress fracture healing is very dependent on the patient and their activity demands. It can take anywhere from two weeks all the way through three or four months frequently to see symptom resolution. At the time of symptom resolution, we would hope that they can slow, slowly reintroduce uh, their activities of choice.